Hello, this is Haku the Bean, and today I am going to be reading The Brave Little from the Bellaverse Verse Canon. If you like this, this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. I guess I'm skipping a thing because it looks like it's a long, long series. I'm going to have to find a all the parts for which is going to be incredibly difficult for me. Nine seventy seven was special. It was indivisible, which was important to his people. Not as special as if he had been in a mother as well, of course. But people expected great things from him. The creator thought this was nonsense, but was willing to let them think what they liked. It made no difference to him. He was out woken up one morning by the jostling of 936. An important mission, he said. It could be dangerous. He roused himself, got his feet under him, and made his way to the creator's room. It was still a fairly ramshackle affair. The other servants of the creator were still building up to their new base of operations. Ah, there you are, 977, the creator said, smiling down on him. He arched his legs with pride the creator recognized him. Of course, they said the creator knew all of us from my sight. You're here for the special mission. Here for a special mission, he agreed. It will be dangerous, the creator warned him. There is a particular individual who has been sighted not far from our encampment. A former subject of the dearly departed foundation. Like so many others, he's escaped and could do considerable damage. But he could be quite valuable as well. Not far, he asked. A few days walk or so for you. If you'll look at the wall, I've prepared a map. Study it. Also look for the drawing. It's not perfect, but it should give you an impression of what you're looking at. He looked at the materials hanging on the wall. The map was simple enough. Just a point north and the west of their camp. The drawing so looks something like the creator, but cruder. Larger mouth and teeth. Now you must be careful, the creator admonished. You only need to find information in return. Do not fight unless you are in danger. <clears throat> Do you understand? 977 repeated it back verbatim. He would not fail the creator. <sighs> Splendid. I only need to know where he is. Be careful. My control over this territory is tenuous as yet. We cannot afford the sort of losses he could inflict. 977 gave a salute and an acknowledgement and hurried away. Before he headed out, he stopped in the mother hall. The walls and ceiling were still rough. They hadn't had much time to prepare their new home. It looked primitive, but he knew in time it would be a work worthy of his people. 971 saw him enter. She was beautiful to his eyes. She was everything a mother should be. He hurried over to her. My mission is important, he told her. You are to know. You are important, she said. I only need to find information. I understand my important mission. You are important. I need my important. He touched her gently. I will be careful, he said. She made a small buzzing sound and tapped him gently on the head, a, gest a gesture of affection. He felt a small rush of elation, and knew he would do anything to protect her. I will return, he promised, and left. He was soon outside of the cabinet with its crude tunnels and, and shelters. The beginnings of something he hoped greater than it was. The creator would see them through. He just needed to do his part. When he reached his water, he waded in and, and was soon making his way slowly from one place of consumer to the next. <clears throat> Several times he was accosted by wildlife. Each time he was able to dissuade it or in one case was able to kill it. He did at lose one leg to a small crocodile, but he, no, but he suffered no serious injuries. I'm guessing 977 is not human. It was three days before he came across signs of something intelligent. A circle of stones filled with ashes. 
Stakes for saying a tent, the crushed and broken skull of a deer. He considered going back, but decided to wait until he had sighted the monster. The closer he was able to pinpoint the monster, the easier it would be for the creator to find and deal with it. He rested nearby in a steel pool before venturing on. Soon he saw the smoke of a fire. He was excited, but still kept his pace slow, deliberate. The monster mustn't see him. He kept to the shadows and slowly crept forward. He was getting near where he'd seen the smoke open bamboo while it was close around him. He tried to escape, but they boxed him in, and the frame he hadn't seen was lifted from the water. A colossal form, like the creator but much bigger, stared out on him. The picture on the wall had captured the size of the thing or the power. Its fleshy body bulged with muscle. Oh, this is a bit much. I have not seen a crayfish this big since New Orleans was still a place. Tell me, little one. Do you go well with the butter? Its accent was strange. That's a clear, crisp dictator in a fiction of the creator. It didn't help that it kept its seats shut. 977 and, and thought quickly. He had to find a way to break free with the creator, warn the people. You still have not seen a crayfish, he said, trying to buy time. Murray! You're a talkative one, aren't you? The monster laughed. Tell me, what is your home? From Nori Orleans, he said. His eyes started back and forth trying to find some escape. Some hole he could slip down on if he could only escape the cage. Is that so? Then we must have a Mardi Gras. Come, um, let's dine, little one. My food is all well done. The monster moved in large, loping steps. Its foster her hunched. It set the frame on a log where the birch and, and where the birch remains of a crocodile were set up, out. Organs and viscera were torn and strewn about. Let me go, he asked. And loose my I guess none. We must be friends. Do not know to whom you speak. I am the great artist. It's Henry D. Toulou Oulatre. You should be honored. The monster laughed even harder at that. More seriously, it added, I am also king of France, but I am sure that you knew. Henry... 977 began. King Henry, the monster corrected. King Henry... What is your home? he asked. He needed to saw a bit longer. I am from the a moon, the monster said. I rode down on a chariot of gold. It was pulled, of course, by the sun. Of course, he said. I lied in a sea of champagne. It was so good. I lied it was cheap. Probably made in California, but the fish were still pretty merry, no? I reached out with one giant bloodshot eye staring down. So pretty married, he agreed. He considered trying to cut his way out of the cage, but the bamboo was thick, and he felt it would do nothing but dull his blades. Better to save those for the monster if all else failed. But tell me, which way did you go to come here? I rode down on a fish from the sun, he said. Oh, I think you're telling lies, Ferdinand. That is not good, the... The monster flicked a finger against his body. It hurt, and there was a small cracking sound. Then he felt himself lifted up and set on the log. Now I've been so terribly patient, but there's nothing I would like more than to find others like you to dine with. You wouldn't make poor Ferdinand ha unhappy, would you? There are no others, he said. He wondered if he could make it to the water. He was sure he was quicker than the monster. But it had those great long legs, and it could probably move much faster once it got going. You lie! The monster roared and slammed the fist on the log. Spiders flew up and he almost fell off. He scrambled back against the foot bark to keep his footing. Now you will tell me where they are! For that gross hungry little shrimp! 977 felt a great anger. Very anger grown inside. The monster, this love of malformed flesh, was planning to eat the people. He thought of them of a beautiful 971 of the crater, and he knew this could not happen. 
He spun it out into the monster's eyes. It blinked, but they were and they were sealed shut. A fist uh, shot at the log, but Knight 77 had already moved out of the way. He scuttled forward and off the log until he was behind the monster. He reached out and made a small cut. A leg collapsed. Another cut, and the leg was dead. He danced around on the kick, and he caught another tendon. At another, the monster fell, clutching the log in a vain attempt to remain upright. I can try to speak French, but it's not going to go well. I'll try anyway, though. Arete casa tez, the monster bellowed. I don't know if I said that right. You can correct me in the comments. It twisted, and a massive fist land in inches from 977 and Scarifus. He cut another tendon, and the finger spasmed. Useless. He moved in and out again, and the arm fell limp. But the other arm came down, and this time, a fist is larger as he, he struck him. He heard himself crack. He could feel, feel the fluid leaking out. It wasn't finished just yet. I ripped you apart and stuck out your flesh. I will find you, the monster screamed, thrashing with its own work, only working limb. Nine seventy seven reached out and made a few final. All cuts, and the arm fell limp. Now the monster could do more than bellow and arch his back. 977 crawled away as best as he could, finally laying in a heap nearby, out of the monster's reach. Fluids were still seeping from his shell, so he spat again and sealed himself and rested. Well, what do we have here? A voice said. Ed sometime later, 977 looked up and saw the face of the creator, looking concerned. Here I am, he said. His voice seemed odd, far away almost. Oh dear, you did get it rather badly dinged up, the creator reached down and touched him gingerly. Well done, he asked. What? Oh, yes, yes. Very well done indeed, 977. You have done better than I could have hoped, but I'm afraid you may be beyond helping. It is well, he said. Home. Home as well. Yes, thanks to you. And here we have Fernand. Splendid. Who is this? Show yourself, coward! Fernand will have your head in his belly! The monster thrashed it as best it was able. Look, it could do no more than in reach to create Aider than it could at the moon. Doctor Man at your service, or rather, you'll soon be at mine. I have so wanted to work with you. The creator placed his hands together at evilly as the shapes of the of new men emerge from the swamp. No, no, I will not have it. I will not. He was cut off as another of the people spat and sealed his mouth. Others crawled forward and finished 977's work as new men went to work with its rubs and chains. The creator, every time, picked 977 up. Come on then, chap. You might not be done yet. And if you are, it will be a hero's funeral. A hero, 977, could live with that. Or not, odd, as the case might be. He settled down in his creator's arms and began to dream of 971. And that was a brave little creature, known as 977. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. <sighs> I'll be back tomorrow doing something that we both have no idea what we're doing. You and me, viewer. So until then, goodbye!